Hi everyone, I am Cornelius of Voice Studio East, and this is the sixth episode of my beginner singing course. The previous four episodes have focused solely on singing in the modal register. Today we are finally going to explore falsetto. There are many benefits to working on falsetto. First off, it's obviously quite useful, even on its own terms, featuring in many pop songs, Celtic songs, Disney songs, and so on. But in addition, it also tends to make lighter coordinations in the modal voice easier to learn, and can even help further down the line when it comes to belting. To achieve these benefits, we need a bright, agile falsetto, sort of princess-esque, if you will, like something out of a Disney movie. The main difficulty singers encounter when trying to learn this is that their falsetto winds up being too exasperated, like this. <sighs> to alleviate this, it helps to do some bright, light sighs in falsetto. Like this. Ha! Ha! Remember to keep it soft and princess like, but don't hold it back. It should still be an open sound featuring a large mouth opening and without any reservedness in the quality of the sound. If this is not enough to eliminate the exasperated sound, you can try starting with the breathiness, making sure it is bright and pleasant sounding, and then adding a tone to it without any interruption in the exhalation, and with the exhalation continuing for a bit after the tone has ended, like this. <sighs> You can think of it as adding a tone to the breathiness rather than adding breathiness to the tone. As you ascend in pitch, you may find the sound pulling back or becoming restrained, or that the breathiness acquires a sort of fuzzy or muffled quality, lacking the princess-esque clarity we are looking for. If this happens, Assuming you've otherwise managed to free up your sound and not hold it back, the cause is a lack of brightness or a too small mouth opening. As you ascend in pitch, you should be making the sound even brighter and more princess-like, and make sure your tongue remains in a high forward position. To get better at this, we can make use of the E vowel discussed in the previous episode. Like in that video, we should aim to get some jaw separation into the E, though because the pitch is now higher and the sound a lot softer, we don't need to be vigilant against making the mouth shape wide. It will not make the sound obnoxiously bright, but on the contrary, the brightness will help make the breathy quality clearer and more pleasing to the ear. To practice this, we will do an exercise consisting of a five-note scale using the E vowel when ascending, and then opening up to A ah at the top, like this. Remember to keep it bright and breathy throughout, which means you should use the shiny A ah vowel discussed previously for the descending part. Here we go.
And that's about it for today's video. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment below. Stay tuned, remember to like and subscribe for more content, and as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>